Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's project is a cold process soap project. And for those who know my channel, maybe you remember that I did an unboxing a couple of weeks ago from a company here in Europe that sells brambleberry products as well as nurture soap products. And I got two fragrance oils specifically for a New Year's project. And this one I'm gonna use today is called Lemon Pound Cake and it's from Nurture Soap. And it's absolutely amazing like the first sniff out of the bottle and I was absolutely in love with it. Here is what it says on the website. Lemon pound cake smells just like freshly baked lemon cake complete with buttery notes and sugary glaze. The zesty lemon notes of this fragrance will make your mouth water, which is absolutely true. Here you can see a silicone liner that I found in a local shop around here and I don't know if you are familiar with these Italian treats here. They are typical treats that you eat on Christmas. One is a pandoro, as you can see here. Pandoro is a traditional sweet bread, most popular around Christmas and New Year. It is often served dusted with vanilla scented icing sugar made to resemble the snowy peaks of the Italian Alps during Christmas. Or there is also panettone. And since soap makers are making some soap that look like Christmas treats, like for example Karen, she made a Christmas pudding that I don't know and never tried, but I thought I would like to make something similar to this um, Pandoro. I'm aware that this is not exactly the shape and that the fragrance oil is not exactly the fragrance oil, but um, I thought just symbolically for the new year that would be a great idea for a soap. I'm using yellow Vibrance Mica, also from Nurture Soap. I think it's a great yellow and I absolutely love it. I use it also in some other projects that you can see here. And then, as I said, this Lemon Pound Fragrance Oil from Nurture Soap. So I'm starting by checking the temperature of both the lye water solution and the oils because they need to be approximately the same temperature when you pour the lye water into the oils. And if you are starting out with soaping, then it's better to soap very, very cool. Then I'm adding the stick blender to blend the mixture until it is emulsified. And then I'm going to split off a little bit because I need it for another project. So I'm going to add this yellow Vibrance Mica and what I like to do whenever I'm making soap or other skincare projects, I like to start with a little bit of color because you can always add more if you are not happy with the coloration. But the other way around, it's very difficult to take the color back. By the way, you will find this recipe that I'm using here down in the description box. It's a recipe that I'm using for most of my soap. Very easy, very straightforward recipe. So I'm happy with this coloration. And then I'm giving it a good stir also from the sides of the jug. Make sure that everything is really nicely incorporated before we want to go and add our fragrance oil. And this fragrance oil is amazing because I feel that you can really smell even the powdered sugar. Also, I would like to know if where you live, you know what panettone is, if you ever tried it, or if you know what pandoro is. Also, what type of desserts you are using for Christmas and New Year's. I'm measuring it out here with a spoon. You can also measure it out with a scale, whatever works best for you. And what I like to do whenever I put the fragrance oil in the soap is just stir it in by hand. I feel there is no need for stick blending, except you are in the situation where you wanted to make some piping and you want the batter to become really thick and um, at piping consistency. Otherwise, it's enough if you stir it very well by hand. And then I'm getting my molds here. I always like to use a tray underneath so I can remove the molds easily if I need my space for something else. And I'm just filling the mold. You see, it's a very easy project. There's nothing very complicated about it. It's just one color, one pour, and there you go. Also, I didn't know if this fragrance oil was discoloring. 
So I checked the website and there were people saying this does this color at all and then somebody else said it discolors a lot. Well, it has 10% of vanillin and I suppose that it will somehow discolor a little bit but I'm not really worried about it because in the worst case it will turn out a little bit brownish which will be just a realistic look of the lemon pound cake or of the panettone or pandoro, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so here is the next day and I'm going to unmold. You can see it unmolds rather easily. I just want to say that I'm using sodium lactate in my live water solution to make the unmolding easier. Usually you are able to unmold after 24 hours. If you are not using sodium lactate, it might take a little bit longer. Okay, so you can see it unmolds pretty easily here and they look amazing. The color is a little bit pale, but Let's see what will happen. I suppose that in a few days it's gonna discolor a little bit due to the vanillin content. So here is how they look, but I would like to add a little bit of glitter here. This is um, some biodegradable glitter from Nurture Soap as well, and I want to give it a good dusting so that it looks like the powdered sugar in top of the Pandoro. And I just have to say one more time, this smells so amazing. I have heard a lot about it, but it's even better than what I heard. I think it would be amazing for a sugar scrub or a body butter for that matter, except that um, you possibly would want to eat it. Anyways, so when you are making soap, I would recommend whenever you are using a fragrance oil that you have never used before, even if you have studied the reviews and so forth, try it out on a small batch because then you don't have much to lose. Now I'm gonna show you also how they turn out in a couple of days. This is the discoloration. It looks like they were in the oven, literally, and I'm absolutely happy with it. Now I do have a very interesting project coming up very soon here on my channel for the New Year's Eve, so stay tuned. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're interested in more soap making videos or skincare DIY. In the meantime, make sure you check out these videos here. I wish you all a wonderful day and see you on New Year's Eve. Bye-bye.